How could they forget the captain? Ungrateful fools. We could try and cheer him up. What about musical chairs? Or hide and seek? If you'll all excuse me, I think I'll have an early night. Black? I'm sorry, George. You're right. All the stars and planets that bear his name, and not one of them remembered him. Ah, well. Night Scarlet. Night Jones. Night Scarlet. Night Jones. Night Scarlet. That's enough, Jones. And a happy birthday. Oh, now for a real birthday party. Oh, my fish. Right, my fishy brethren, let the party begin! The stars light birthday candles on the cakes of yesteryear. Meanwhile, I sit and contemplate. Year, ear, tear. Within my eye, a tear. No. Pull yourself together, man. What you need is the companionship of your crew. Strange. Must be too busy partying. My party! Toaster oh. fish omelette, please, Black. And after that, a game of musical chairs, I think. <laughs> My fish are all gone. I see. In that case, set up the chairs and let's party. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. seem longer than usual, Captain? Yes, Scarlet. It's because we're all older. Keep it steady. Birthday cards for Captain Starr. I should think so, too. They should have been here yesterday. Not quite entirely forgotten, after all. No, Captain, not forgotten at all. In fact, your birthday has been moved. Moved? Uh, Mission Control has declared your birthday a pan-universal public holiday. A pan-universal public holiday? What a good idea! on. It usually only takes me five minutes to get to the cafe. I've been walking all morning and I still can't see it. Can't see it? Captain, he's right. The cafe has vanished. No need to panic, Scarlet. We could always eat at your place. Jones, open these birthday cards, will you? One of them might contain my orders. Right away, Captain. Hang on a minute. If they've moved your birthday, you've got a different birthday from the rest of us. And if you've got a different birthday, you can't be our captain. Thundering rockets, you're right. Different birthday, different ship. I'll have to leave the boiling hell. Huzzah! Quick, men! The ship's library. Captain, surely you'll admit that the boiling hell is further away than usual. It just seems that way because you're sorry to see me go, Scarlet. To me, it seems a mere twinkling. Step lively, men. Sixty-four, sixty-four. There it is. That will be my new ship, the Blubber Raft. But you can't really leave us, Captain. Got to, Jones. It's written in the stars. The Blubber Raft is an interstellar fish reprocessing plant. Marvellous. You can't exchange the boiling hell for a fish reprocessing plant. You forget, Scarlet. The blubber raft is up there. The boiling hell is down here. It is a very good fish processing plant. Mm. They make those fish-shaped snacks. With ketchup inside. You should be proud, Captain. Well, I'll be sorry to say goodbye, but goodbye. 
Perhaps a farewell supper? It's over there, about five land miles. That's ten times as far away as it was this morning. There's only one explanation, Captain. We have all shrunk. No, there's another explanation. The planet has got bigger. Actually, there is a third possibility. Captain! Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. I looked out of the window this morning, and I couldn't see the boiling hell or Officer Scarlet's lab. I thought you'd all gone and left me. Yes, yes, Black. I want you to tell me all you know about fish. I'm going to be a space fisherman. Oh. Well, fish are good and fish are kind. Fish are gentle. They're understanding. What about gills? That's a word you hear in connection with fish. Do I need to know about gills? Captain, there's something I think you should see. Here's the answer to the mystery. A large quantity of water was lost from Black's Cafe last night. It seems to have run down this innocent looking hole. The hole, however, is in fact the mouth of a dormant volcano. The water thus turned to steam. Oh, my fish! Steamed, oh. then smoked, oh. and baked. Oh. How sad. The steam would have escaped harmlessly had not its exit been blocked by this birthday cake. So, all we have to do is pull out the birthday cake. No, stop! If you do, the steam will rush out, powering the planet like a jet engine and sending it spinning off its orbit into the trackless wastes of space. Then, what can we do? There's only one thing to do. Ask the captain. Oh no, Scarlet. My work here is finished. It's in your hands now. But, uh, what do you mean, Captain? Until such time as my replacement arrives, I'm appointing you acting captain. Here, take my captain's whistle. Your whistle? Uh, thank you, Captain. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Scarlet. Just save the planet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have shirts to pack. I bought you this shirt, sir, for your 21st. Yes, Jones. I call it my itchy shirt. And this is the one you wore when you saved the 29 captains. Look, there's the hole where the spear went in. You keep that one, Jones. Are you sure, Captain? Thank you, Captain. Captain, I'm going to miss you, Captain. Well, it's nice of you to say so, Jones. And I'm going to miss you, Captain. Thank you, Jones. And I'm going to miss you, Captain. Just pack the shirts, Jones. The planet is expanding its own mass every hour. In an hour's time, it'll be twice its usual size, in two hours, four times, and soon after, it'll burst. Yes, but what are we going to do? Uh, think, Scarlet, think. It's interesting how the time seems to be passing really slowly, even though I know that time is a constant. I wonder if not that sort of thinking, practical thinking, save the planet sort of thinking, captain sort of thinking. How long have we got? Two hours and 17 minutes, as long as there's no major disturbance on the planet's surface. What's that? Look, Scarlet, my new ship. Captain, tell them to circle. A heavy landing could blow the whole planet. What? Oh, look. It's the 29 captains. Stop! Quick, Black, the cake. Now this is what I call a party. If the cake hole blows, we're doomed. I can't hold her, acting captain. There's no job to...